me, I've always felt Chinese food is really undersold in the UK. I've got this, some sort of deluded mission that I'm going to change how people perceive Asian food and culture. I've never had like Asian inspired burger before. A beginner's oyster. It is, isn't it? Rocky Fest embodies everything that I love and it'll be a celebration of Asian food and culture. Right boys, for Chinese New Year we've got to prep Korean fried chicken. Have you done it before? No. Right, good, because we're going to show you. So the difference between Korean fried chicken batter and a normal fried chicken is much crispier. Why did you become so into Asian cooking? I see a lot of the times and said, let me try. Yeah. No experience yeah. in Asian cooking. Then I got the chance. Why did you think they gave you the chance? Just because I was keen to learn. That's the key, isn't it? That's yes. the key. The strong memory I have from childhood of Chinese New Year was when I was, went to Hong Kong. I was really young at the time, but I remember it being really, really colourful. Lots of red colour everywhere, music, it was loud, great food around, lots of people being really festive and it's kind of like made a big impression on me growing up. Even in my adult years, I'm kind of like wanting to do something that recreated that experience for the people. There's a butterfly deboned, so we need to flavour it. We've got shallots, ginger and garlic. I'm going to blitz these all down with the water. So when we mix the batter in, we're just not using just water because there's no flavour in it. It's like little touches like this is going to make it different to a normal fried chicken. Once it's infused, you can strain it out. So if you make a batter with this water, it's going to taste a hell of a lot better than just mixing it with water, right? The great thing about Korean fried chicken is actually the hot sauce. Gochujang is probably the thing I would think about as their most famous ingredient. I've always loved the little pot of water at the top of a wok unit. In China they call that the cold river and it's used for a, a lot of things, well, namely either for your water for washing your woks. In ramens they use the, the water there is used to chill the noodles so they maintain this sort of crunchiness. Rocky Fest seemed really fitting to do because it embodies everything that I love about Chinese culture and food. For me, like, I've always felt that Chinese food is really undersold in the UK. I think, you know, even the culture that it's from, it's, it's so diverse and vibrant. Really crispy on the outside, but still, look at all that. When you cook it on the bone, completely moist all the way through. Exactly. Chinese New Year is one of the most important holiday in China. It was also a time to bring family and friends together to honor household and deities as well as ancestors. It's going to look mad later. We've got these red up lights, there'll be banging music, and it'll be a celebration of Asian food and culture. We've managed to get a lot of our neighbours, um, so really, really talented chefs in the area, to do special menus within their own businesses and um, to complement our celebrations. And the great thing is they're using Asian ingredients. Happy New Year, mate. Hey, Happy New Year, mate. How's it going? I'm really excited because I've heard um, you've got a special burger on today for Chinese New Year. I have. Um, well, tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so it's called Big Trouble in Little China, which is named after one of my favourite films. Um, so the burger itself is a beef patty, uh, an oyster ketchup, uh, a yuzu nori aioli, buttered Chinese greens, and I'm using uh, choy sum, black choy, and a prawn cracker from my local Chinese restaurant back in St. Well, I've never had like an Asian-inspired burger before. I'm, I'm loving your work, chef. 
Rob, you know this is true, buddy, but your um, restaurant is one of my favorite in Bristol, not just Whopping Wolf. I was really honored when you agreed to help us out and do a special Asian-inspired dish on your menu tonight. What did you go for in the end? So in the end, we went for just something really simple, which is kind of what, what Root's all about, really, um, just showcasing beautiful produce. So we've got a native Dorset rock oyster with a sweet chili sauce. So it's kind of that perfect pairing of Asian ingredients with just really fresh uh, produce, which is fantastic. You're a fan of oysters? Got to be in a mood, I find, with oysters. Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. It's not something you can have every day, but... So what's on this one, then? So it's just been panned. Mm. Flour, egg and plank of breadcrumbs. Fried, not too much. You want to catch it before it goes like really rubbery, almost. Yeah, yeah. And then the sweet chilli sauce. A beginner's oyster. It is, isn't it? It's a nice way to break yourself into it. Yeah, thanks very much. Cheers. So growing up, um, doing Chinese New Year, you have um, very traditional festivals. So I wanted to do something with really loud music, um, lots of lights and things like that, just to give it a bit of drama. Tonight's gone really, really amazing, just to get people really interacting with it. People are coming up afterwards saying how much um, they enjoyed it and they've never seen a lion dance before. The kitchen was absolutely slammed today. We've basically more or less sold out of everything. Ever since I quit my job to do this, um, my life has just been turned upside down. It's kind of like why I did it, you know? I, I, it doesn't feel like a job to me. Like I've got some sort of deluded mission that I'm going to change um, how people perceive Asian food and culture. That's what I've always believed in. Now I'm going to go back in the kitchen. I'm going to work with the boys. I'm going to take them out for a few drinks and a meal tonight.